With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, our question is the equivalent resistance between points A and B of an infinite network of resistance, each of one ohm connected as shown is. We are shown a network of infinite resistances. We are asked to find out the equivalent resistance between points A and B. So here we have a network of infinite resistances. So let uh, the equivalent resistance of uh, these resistances be R. Okay. As these are infinite resistances, if we remove one part, okay, if we remove, let's say this part, it it is not going to have any effect on the equivalent resistance, okay. So now we can draw this circuit as follows. Suppose the remaining is R that is equivalent R. So this will be 1 ohm. This will be 1 ohm. A, B. And here we have R equivalent connected across the two points A and B. So this is R equivalent. Or we can say it as R. So here resistance R represents this equivalent of this infinite number of resistances. Now these two are connected in parallel. 1 ohm and R ohm they are connected in parallel. So we have 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon R. It will be equal upon R. So the equivalent of these two will be equal to R upon R plus 1. Now the circuit will change to this will be A and this will be sorry this will be 1 ohm and this will be R upon R plus 1. So these two are in series. This is point B. So as these two are in series, we can just add them up. So 1 ohm plus R upon R plus 1. So this is our equivalent resistance R. It will be equal to 1 ohm plus R upon R plus 1. So this can be written as, on solving this we get R square plus R equal to R plus 1 plus R. So this is equal to R square minus R minus 1 equal to 0. Now the roots of this quadratic equation will be equal to that is R equal to we know that the formula minus B plus minus and root B square minus 4AC. So this will be 1 as B is minus 1 here. So minus minus will become plus under root of A is 1, 4A, so this will be plus 4 upon 2. So we get this R equal to 1, this is plus minus under root 5 upon 2. Now here R cannot be negative so we have r equal to 1 plus under root of 5 upon 2 that is why option 4 is the right answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today